Hello and welcome back everyone to uh, Rocket Rabbit Commentary's run through of Legacy of the Duelists. And in this episode, we'll be finishing up Season 2 with the f uh, with the final duel of, uh, yeah, of Season 2 and the end of the GX Tournament, which is uh, going to be Chaz versus Blair. Oh, here's a character I haven't seen yet. Blair. Yeah, we skipped over Blair's int introduction, but as Alexis mentioned here, the events of Blair's introduction still happened. Yeah, name's Blair. Don't you forget it. I won't now that I've met you. All right. So we, uh, Chaz, um, in the anime here is actually using uh, a very similar deck to what Kaiba was using during the uh, uh, during the uh, Battle City Finals. In that, and that he was you, uh, that Chaz was actually using a Btron. It was Btron ABC deck um, that allowed uh, allowed him to uh, contact fuse all three of his Btrons into a Btron tank. But what said what, what we're doing now specifically is we are actually using Ojamas again. Ojama. All right, we're gonna summon Ojama a black and then play Ojama Country and then hope that we can get Ojama yellow. Sweet. But Blair is running a uh, Blair is running a life point. A life point burn deck, and not not as in you know, not as though she's actually going to be uh, burning us for lots and lots of damage. No, 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 no. What she's doing very specifically is she is using a bunch of monsters that have relatively high that have relatively high stats that also passively gain her life points. I really like uh, the implementation, uh, the in, uh, the inclusion of this deck archetype. It is something that I personally have uh, have al have always liked trying to do, despite the fact that I can't actually do it that well. And that's game. We lose. Well, okay then. Yeah, <sighs> the Ojama Country. Where the hey, Ojamas? Hey, there's Ojama Yellow. Fine, apparently. Pra they practice industry, agriculture. Puppy dog watching, jumping off of roofs, and dancing in the streets. Alright, but, but if I do this, then I have to kill Spirit of the Breeze. Although I dare say that this depiction of Ojama Country looks like a very yellow Smurf village. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be actually a Mexican village, not a Smurf village, but... Oh my god. <laughs> Now, the uh, only monster that, that we don't actually get to see that's actually a key component of player strategy right here is Fire Princess. But I assure you, if she could have gotten out Fire Princess, she would have just, she would have killed us slightly faster with it. Well, time to just lay down in spandex and pose. We may have been defeated in this duel, but we certainly are a worthy competitor on the, on the glamour scene. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't get magical hats or Oja magic, stupid hit system. All right, Blair, you're gonna run a burn deck? Fine, let us also run a burn deck, but ours is much faster than yours. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going up against life gain. Yeah, uh, well, no, we're going up against life gain burn, which is a different thing from normal life gain. Uh, there was a word for that. Um, Anti-life? Uh, not not in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't actually uh, does, uh, doesn't have a term for unless, of course, you're referring to Nurse Burn, which this is not. This is not Nurse Burn. Well, I'm talking about that one card that says that every time your opponent is supposed to gain life points, they lose that many life points instead. Yeah, that's Nurse. Oh. Uh, and again, this isn't actually Nurse Burn. Uh, this uh, this is a deck specifically using a lot of the uh, a lot of the relatively high power uh, life gain fairies uh, in order to passive uh, in order to passively increase her own life points and then have uh, and then have uh, fire princess burn us uh, each time it happens. I actually should have summoned Skullzoma there. Dang it. Try your best. You see, it can't be Nurse Burn because she's not actually increasing our life points, which is the, the uh, which is the primary uh, uh, the primary signifier of Nurse Burn. 
<laughs> I'm trying to remember the name of that trap card that, that gave you that bad ability. A bad reaction to Samochi. Bad reaction to Samochi, thank you. See, I was only trying to help, but it hurts. It hurts. Uh, <laughs> I really wish that I could understand how the fuck nurse burn works, to be perfectly honest, because it was uh, because it is a very fast way to actually uh, to actually kill your opponents if you can get it working correctly. I've never been able to figure out how the fuck to get nurse nurse burn working correctly, though. I mean, it's such a simple it's such a simple premise. Lots of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh will give you great abilities as long as you're willing to give your opponent life points. Uh, Soul Taker is is a good one that's on the modern scene that actually continues to see use to this very day. But imagine just drawing a card with Upstart Goblin and burning your opponent for 1,000. That's cool. Cloud, not Soul Taker has not seen use in more than a decade. Well, so, is, so has most of the Yu-Gi-Oh! mythos. True. St actually, a majority the of the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards haven't seen use in 20 fucking years. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see, Legacy of Blue Eyes, Much of Magic Ruler, uh, Metal Raiders is extinct. No, uh, no, no, Metal Rulers, Metal Raiders is not extinct because Metal Raiders has got Solemn Judgment in it. Oh, yeah, sure. Unfortunately, Blair just got access to, uh, back to her MST because of Pixie Knight. Pixie Knight is a card that I've never actually run, mostly because it's not actually, you know, important to recycle your quick play spells usually and it's relatively difficult to force your opponent to recycle your quick play spells. I mean, recycling in general in Yu-Gi-Oh! is like sec it's second hat. You do not want to wait until your graveyard is set up or you've already played a spell. No. You play, given the choice between playing one or two cards to defeat your opponent, you're probably going to opt to use only just one card, not count on the chance to play a second card, because the way that fast Yu-Gi-Oh is these days, you're not going to get that chance. That's why Mask of Darkness is not a thing anymore. Magician although of Mask Faith of Darkness might be a thing. Um, although Mask of Darkness was barely uh, was barely a thing, even when uh, even when it was uh, uh, seeing some amount of use, yeah, mostly well, because um, yeah. if you were gonna run Mask of Darkness, it was just significantly better to run Makura the Destructor. Oh yeah, right. So you get the trap card back in your hand, and then because it's in your hand, then you can use it. Oh, there's Solemn Wishes. Nice. All right, Soma, finish this off for us, please. Thank you. Destroy. Destroy. Sweet. I love Zoma the Spirit. It is such a fucking amazing card. <laughs> Played really. Yeah, and, and um, uh, after the first instance of, uh, of Blair getting to a... Uh, uh, okay, Blair's original story was very specifically she had a thing going for... Uh, Zane, because Zane was uh, just was just that uh, popular and successful even outside Duel Academy. After she loses her duel against Jaden, she suddenly decides to have a thing for Jaden instead. Also, a lot of a lot of Jaden's pack, as you can probably guess, has got a lot of the Element to Hero stuff on it, specifically the Neo Spatian Element to Heroes. But it also has the Neo Element to Heroes in it, like Shadow Mist and uh, Blaze Man. So if you're uh, if you're looking for to build a, a somewhat competitively viable hero deck, yeah, you're gonna be on uh, Jaden's pack for a little while. But the other big thing that Jaden that Jaden's uh, pack actually has is the solar system monsters, which are really interesting because they did not. Uh, although they most certainly were in the Yu-Gi-Oh GX, I specifically recall the solar system monsters being a significant part of the Yu-Gi-Oh R manga, and. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! R manga is a great piece is a great piece of media, but it's also something that's effectively been lost to fucking time. You can go find you can go find um, uh, on online um, repostings and scans of it, but you're probably not going to be able to find physical uh, physical copies of it at all. And yes, Heroes also got link support af after a while because despite. Uh, because despite the fact that E-Heroes are one of the oldest archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh! at the moment, they are still extremely popular be, uh, because they are tied to Jaden. 
And, uh, yeah, we also had to find certain Ge, which is a card that I have no idea how the fuck to play, but is relatively cool. Oh, uh, Dandelion. And a, a, just showing you how the devil really is in the details. That no matter whether Dandelion sent from the deck to the graveyard, from the hand of the graveyard, from the banished pile of the graveyard, it's gonna activate. Mm. Hey, Dark Neos. Oh, Savage Coliseum! You remember that, Cloud, Mr. Cloud. Welcome to the Coliseum, baby. <laughs> 